quick for tuning in. Uh, today's video blog is a, a new one because it's the first time in a long time we've uh, announced a rate increase in the prime rate, i.e. for our variable clients. Uh, today, July 12, 2017, the prime rate went up a quarter point, or the overnight lending rate at Bank Canada increased by a quarter point. Uh, first time in seven years. We're getting a lot of calls on this. It's in the news. It's been making news. Uh, the first thing we're telling people is relax. It's not a big deal. It's the first increase in a long time. If I were to tell you seven years ago that you're not going to have an increase in your rate, you're only going to have two decreases in the next seven years, and then it'll start to go up. You probably still would have taken a variable product. So first thing that variable clients must know is don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It was inevitable that that rate's going to go up. Again, uh, the focus that we've had with our clients for years is when you take a variable client, we're not doing it at the time of market. We're not doing it at the time when the best time is to lock it into a five-year fixed rate. We're taking a variable because historically, you're going to average better taking a variable rate mortgage over a five-year fixed mortgage. On top of that, a variable gives you a bit more flexibility, i.e. you can go from a variable into a fixed, can't go the other way. And as well, the penalty to break a mortgage, five years is a long time. Some people's life change. If you're on a five-year fixed rate, with, with the bank, you're going to have a high penalty. If you're in a variable, you're going to have a three-month interest penalty. But aside from that, you take a variable because historically you've done better off. And that's been the case. One increase in seven years is not the end of the world. For every $100,000, you're looking at $6.50 every two weeks. Uh, it's, it's not a lot of money. Yes, we'd rather in our pockets, but we have been a benefit from rates going down. We've averaged down over the last seven years, ten years. It's time to go up a bit. This is not the time to panic. It's not the time to... to, to to call your bank and say, should I lock it in? Because they're going to lock it into a higher interest rate. Uh, it, essentially, if you lock into a five-year fixed rate, it would be the equivalent of the Bank of Canada going up three times by a quarter point by 0.75%. So uh, you don't have to do anything now that it's going up. You can stay in a variable. If you think that rates are going to continue to go up, and we don't know where rates are going to go. There's talk there'll be another one this year. That uh, could happen. There's a lot of other factors that come in other than just mortgages. So uh, if, if you want to lock in, it's not a horrible time to lock in. You can probably get five-year money at in the high twos, 2.85% roughly. Uh, and, and that may look good two years down the road. But again, I stress, if you're a variable client, one increase in seven years doesn't mean it's time to panic to lock it in. You're, you know, if you're at prime less 60, your rate's going to go up to 2.35%. That's still a half a point lower than today's five-year fixed rate. So don't stress. We don't like it when they go up, but we have benefited from this low-rate environment for a long time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us. Thank you.